I'm Michelle Cromer. This is your Creating a Meaningful Life Tip of the Week. And the tip of the week is to travel. I am working on a book about sacred sites and those that I have been to over the last 20 years. I think I'm up to 42 now. And inevitably, when you go to a sacred site and you have no expectations, you just show up, something amazing always happens and it's never anything that you would expect. And I just want to tell you a quick story. I was recently in the South of France on a Mary Magdalene tour. This is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. I studied her at the university level years and years ago. She's one of my favorite characters in the Bible. We know that after the crucifixion of Jesus, the apostles spread. We know where two of them went and they're mentioned in the canon, but no one really knows what happened to the mother of Jesus, Mary Magdalene. And so I wanted to research that mythology because when you find mythology and you have some sort of nugget of truth that always could be real. So we went to the south of France and there was the Lord's healing water. There's a lot of reasons to go, but I wanted to go to the cave where Mary Magdalene supposedly lived. She got on a boat with Mother Mary, a woman named Mary Salome. They went across the Mediterranean and wound up in this community. But when I went into the cave, it occurred to me that I didn't believe in that mythology. You have to have discernment when you travel because it was in June and it was very cold and damp and there's no way she could have survived that. And there's a theory that angels came down to feed her, but I didn't buy it. So I was like, huh, I was a little disappointed. But then we hiked up to a church, a cave where she supposedly taught and it was extremely austere. And we walked in, I was the first one in and I sat down on a rickety old bench and I immediately heard a voice say to my heart, sister, welcome home. And I began to sob. And I don't mean just a little, I mean, snot's coming out of my, I mean, I am sobbing and I'm sitting there and a woman took a picture of me and over my head is this beautiful green light. So William Henry, who was in charge of the trip and a lovely, nice man came up to me and said, we were the first ones in. Would you like to go down the trail back down? And I said, sure, because it was a hike up to this cave. So we're hiking down and I'm, I'm feeling better and clearing my head. And William said, I've done this 27 times, Michelle. We're going to come up to this gate and it has bars on it. And it, I believe it le leads down to the river. And he's ahead of me and he just stops and just the look on his face. And I, I catch up and I look over and some of the bars are gone, but standing there is the most beautiful Hebrew woman I have ever seen in my life. She looked like she was in her thirties. She had this gorgeous hair. She looked like she was from another, t another time. And William said, how long have you been there? How long have you been standing there? And she said, for a very long time. And he goes, well, how did you get here? And she said, well, I came up through the river up through the tunnel from the river. And William said, but you're so clean. And she just smiled and she came down and she put her little hand on me and she said, I love you so much. And she turned and left. And I looked over at William and he said, Michelle, I believe we just experienced a wrinkle in time. And I believe that was Mary Magdalene. And we got on our bus and as she went down the trail, apparently she lifted every single person on our trip up with some sort of message of hope or a compliment of some kind. And so whether you believe it or not, these sacred sites and these places hold such purpose and such power. And I guarantee you, wherever you are right now, there is one of those sacred sites nearby. You don't have to go to France. You can just open up your door and I bet you're gonna find one. And I encourage you to do so. Please ask me questions at michelle at michellecromer.com. Thanks, y'all.